So today we're focusing on section 1.2, exploring the Pythagorean relationship. Uh, the Pythagoreans are famous for their study of right angle triangles. So this is a group of uh, Greek mathematicians. Um, and what they did was they discovered relationships between side lengths in right angle triangles. So a right angle triangle is a triangle with a 90 degree angle. So we'll go over that in a little bit more detail. So I'm going to draw out a triangle and this symbol here indicates that it is 90 degrees. Okay, so this is an example of a right angle triangle because it, one of the angles is 90 degrees. The longest side in this triangle is called a hypotenuse. So say that word out loud. It's one of those, uh, you should say it a few times, hypotenuse. It's always the longest side in a right angle triangle and it's always opposite the 90 degree angle. So if you take the 90 degree angle and follow it to the opposite side, you would have the hypotenuse. So it is the longest side. The other two sides are called legs. Okay, so what they did was they looked at right angle triangles and they found that the three sides and the angles were all related. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to do a little exploration as well. So down here, um, we have triangles that are formed by putting three squares together. So let's look at triangle one here. So there's the right angle triangle. This side here is the hypotenuse and these are the legs. And what, what they've done here is we have, with this side, we've made a square off of that side. So we'll call that square A. On this leg or side, we've made a square off of it. And we'll call that square B. And on the hypotenuse, we've made a square off of that side. And we'll just call that side C. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for patterns by looking at the area of the square. So I'll do the first one with you guys and then we'll pause the video and I'll have you do triangle two and three on your own. So this is triangle one here. I'll just put a one, triangle one. And we have a side length of six. So what we're looking for, side length of six, what's the area of the square? So what is the area of this square here? So we would go six times six or six squared, which is 36. And I'll just put a little bubble around that, uh, circle around that to show that that is the area. So that is 36. Uh, square B, so we have a side length of eight. So if we want to find the area of this square, it would be eight times eight or eight squared, which is 64. And for um, square C, we have a side length of 10. And for this square here, we have 10 times 10 or 10 squared, which is 100. And um, is this a right triangle, yes or no? So that's what this question here is asking. And because it has this symbol here, we can say, yes, it is. So what I would like you to do, I'll pause the video, and I would like you to try triangle two and three on your own. Okay, so you can check over your answers. You'll notice with triangle two, when we had a side length of three, the square, that was attached to this side length is nine. Um, this leg here that has a length of four, if we look at the area of the square that's attached to it, it is 16. So this was nine, this was 16, and this area here 
is 25. And yes, it is in fact a right triangle because it has the 90 degree symbol. And in triangle three, we had an area of 25. Here we had an area of 49. And here we had an area of 100. And it's not a right triangle because there is no 90 degree symbol. So the Pythagorean relationship, if you look here, um, 36 plus 64, if you add the two legs together, you get 100, right? And it is a right triangle. In triangle number two, 16 plus nine, if you add the two areas together, you get the area of the hypotenuse, and it is a right triangle. In triangle number three, if we add the area of the two legs, uh, the, if we add the area of the squares off the two legs, 25 plus 35, we don't get 100. So that is the um, Pythagorean relationship. So 36 plus 64, equals 100, so it is a right triangle. 9 plus 16 equals 25, so it is a right triangle. Here, 25 plus 49 does not equal 100, so it's not a right triangle. Okay, so on the second page there, um, the Pythagorean relationship states, relates the areas of the squares on the three sides oops, of a right triangle. And um, the relationship is that the sum of the areas of the squares attached to the legs equals the area of the square attached to the hypotenuse. So we'll just draw a picture um, so that you can visualize what key idea number two is. So I'm drawing a right triangle. We'll call this side A, we can call this side B, and we can call this side C. So if we were to find the area of side A, it would be A times A, or A squared. If we were to calculate the area of side B, it would be B times B or B squared. And if we were to calculate the area of side C, it would be C times C or C squared. And this area plus this area, so the squares attached to the legs, equals the area of the square attached to the hypotenuse. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So let's do some examples. Number one, a right triangle has side lengths of 9, 12, and 15. Sketch a picture of the triangle, draw a square on each side of the triangle. Okay, so part A, So we know that the longest side will be 15, and I can make this 9 and this 12. So you always know to make the longest side the biggest number. So this would be my 90 degree angle because it would be opposite the hypotenuse. Um, I want to draw a square off of each side and find the area of each side. So this one here would be nine times nine or 81 centimeters squared. This one here would be 12 times 12, which is 144 centimeters squared. So that's the area here. And this area here so it doesn't look like a square, but it should be 15 times 15, which is 225 centimeters squared. So that's this area here. Um, so that answers question B. What is the area of each square? 
And question C, write an addition statement using the areas of the three squares. So what we're showing here is 81, so this is step C, 81 centimeters squared plus 144 centimeters squared equals, if we add them up, 81 plus 144, it equals 225 centimeters squared. So that is our addition statement. Okay, so in this next example, we're on the third page now, um, we have a triangle. Now we don't know whether it is a right triangle or not. So we're going to use the Pythagorean relationship to prove whether or not it is. It has side lengths of five, seven, and nine centimeters. So what I'll do is I'll draw a triangle. I'm not going to put that symbol in because I'm not sure if it's a right triangle or not. Um, so this one here I'll make nine centimeters and the legs, it doesn't matter. I can make this one five, this one seven centimeters here. What are the areas so in question A, what are the areas of the three squares that can be drawn on the sides of the triangles? So this one here, I'll draw a square off of this leg and I have an area of 25 centimeters squared. Just put a circle around that. Sometimes it can get confusing with the side length and the area. So I always like to circle my areas. Um, with this leg here, I'll draw a square as well, and I know that the area is 7 times 7, which is 49 centimeters squared. Put a circle around that. And this last one here, the hypotenuse, this area is 9 times 9, which is 81 centimeters squared. Okay, so I've done the work here. Question B, is the triangle a right triangle? Explain your answer. Well, let's see. Does, um, do the area of the squares of the legs, do they add up to the area of the square off the hypotenuse? So is 25 centimeters squared and 49 centimeters squared does it add up to 81 centimeters squared? That is the question. So, um, so we add these up. 74, oops, 74 centimeters squared, and we have 81 centimeters squared. So it is not a right uh, triangle. So not a right triangle. It's still a triangle, but not one with 90 degrees. Okay, so I'd like you guys to um, try these examples here down below on your own and you can check your answers with me. Okay, so in, um, are these, are the following right triangles? So let's see, the first one here I went ahead and calculated the areas. There's no units here, so I'm not sure if we're dealing with centimeters or meters, but the area, um, I always know that the largest number is the hypotenuse, right? So this is the hypotenuse. These areas here, I calculated this one here to be nine and 16. So does nine and 16 add up to 36? That is the question. Well, we know that nine plus 16 is actually 25, so it does not equal 36. So this is not a right triangle, okay? Um, in the second example, we know that this is the hypotenuse here because it's the largest number. So do these areas of the legs add up to 400? So is 144 plus 256 equivalent to 400 and if we add those up we get 400 so um, so we can say yes it's a right triangle so that's the key 
uh, topic that we're that you'll be exploring in section 1.2. Um, and I wanted to just finish off with this last example here. It's a little bit trickier because sometimes I give you the side lengths, sometimes I give you the area. So the question is asking, what is the length of the side indicated below? So we're wanting to calculate this side here, which is the hypotenuse, right? Because it's opposite the 90 degrees. Well, I know that this area for this square and I know it's the area because it says centimeters squared is 17. So this here is 17 centimeters squared. For this triangle here, for this square here, I know the side length to be eight centimeters. So I have to calculate the area. Eight times eight, 64 centimeters squared. I'll just put a circle around that. And we know it's a right triangle, so we know that 17 plus 64 will give me the area for this square here. So we know that 17 centimeters squared plus 64 centimeters squared equals 81 centimeters squared. So we, we know that this one, this square here, is 81 centimeters squared. We're almost done. What, but what we're looking for is we're looking for this side. So this is a square. What times what gives us 81? So we're looking for the side length and you should remember how to find the side length. We can just take the square root of 81 centimeters squared, which gives us nine centimeters. So the length of the side here is nine centimeters.